right here is going to be sharing her experiences working with wolves, and I mean really actual wolves. Hey guys, it's Sarah. I wanted to make a video that gave a little bit of context, and while I do try to provide some context in the description, people don't always read that, and it's hard to get the full story in just a couple of paragraphs. They take in wolves or wolf dogs to overcome whatever trauma it is that they had been exposed to. Now, do you guys remember back in 2013, this wolf dog Wiley crying at the grave of Sarah's grandmother? We miss her too. Now, the video went crazy viral, but she used that as an opportunity to monetize on the attention the video got to then work with wolves. Hi. In helping these animals, she's helping herself. She experienced a very serious personal traumatic experience. About eight years ago, my cousins opened up a sanctuary. A year prior, I had been raped and diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. And yet, when I walked into the enclosure with the wolf, it all melted away. And so now, she's going to be dedicating her YouTube channel to sharing her day-to-day -day experiences with some of these wolves and wolf dogs. Outside the enclosure, there were a million threats, both real and imagined. But in the enclosure, I only had to focus on one, a wolf. It's interesting that she's been able to find therapy in the dogs as she's rescuing them and providing therapy for them as well. Especially because at one point in her life, she had an eating disorder and she ended up being diagnosed with anorexia even. She said she wouldn't eat anything she felt made her sick. Wolves and wolf dogs will greet other wolves and people that they really love by kissing them in their mouth and on their face. Everything in my history says I should not let that happen. But now, as you see in the video, instead of shunning him, I allowed him to kiss me. And later that day, when I was scared to take a bite of food, I remembered that I had just been kissed by a wolf. I hadn't gotten sick, and I was okay. So what she and her now fiance want to do is open their own sanctuary. YouTube revenue is vital to bolstering our sanctuary and rescue efforts, so please continue to stick around. 